Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about magnetoception. In order to understand what this is, first we need to talk about magnetism. Magnetism is basically this invisible physical force where magnetic fields, which are created by these electrical currents from charges like positive charges and negative charges, acting on other objects that create repelling and attracting forces, which sounds really complicated. But basically, with a magnet, you have two sides, a positive and negative end. And like sides will repel each other, and opposite sides will attract each other. And these forces will create magnetic fields all around us. Now let's talk about the Earth's magnetic field. You could say that the Earth is a giant magnet. Have you ever used a compass? Well, the pointer in a compass always points north because Earth is a magnet with a north and south pole. So imagine a magnetic bar passing through the middle of the Earth with a north pole and a south pole. When you have a magnet, this causes a magnetic field, which is when you have a region of magnetic field lines that extend from between the two poles. You can see the dashed lines here in the picture. Scientists hypothesize Earth is a magnetic field because Earth has an inner and outer core and that the outer core consists of these liquid metals, which are iron and nickel. So when Earth's magnetic field is generated, it's generated by the movement of these charged particles that move through the molten metals in the outer core. And these particles move as Earth spins on its axis. So then what is magnetoception? Magnetoception is a sense that allows an organism to detect a magnetic field so that, that they can understand directions, altitude, and location. In a similar way that humans use compasses to detect Earth's magnetic north pole and tell them di directions, many animals have natural compasses that work just as well. Like what organisms use magnetoreception? We see it in bacteria, fish, amphibians and reptiles like frogs or turtles, arthropods, and many mammals like mice, pigeons, and hens. But what about humans? Humans may have magnetoreception, but scientists are not sure. One lab, the Kirschbank lab, is researching magnetoreception heavily and has proposed that humans have a magnetic sixth sense. Animals can use magnetoreception to orient themselves and navigate using the Earth's magnetic field. For example, just imagine you are a hatchling sea turtle who just hatched from an egg and you make your way to the ocean. At first, you're fine because the waves pull you in. However, after a while, when you're in the middle of the vast ocean, it is difficult to know which way is which. This is when magnetoreception comes in handy. Also, birds like the Gordon, garden wobbler use Earth's magnetic field to guide their annual migrations. Recent research suggests that warblers and other migrating birds can use this field to get back on course if they get lost while migrating. The ability to sense magnetic fields is so important, but we don't really know how it works. There are two competing theories of how it works in animals. The first theory is the chemical sensor theory, which claims there are magnetite chemicals in the body that act as magnetic receptors and are thought to be able to pick up magnetic field strength. The animals on the left are some examples of animals who use a chemical sensor. The second theory is a mechanical sensor theory, which claims that there are proteins in the eyes of animals called cryptochromes to see magnetic fields. These have been found in the eyes of several birds, including homing pigeons and domestic chickens. However, neither theory is completely proven, but researchers are looking at both theories to find evidence for magnetoreception in humans. Thanks for listening.